What's up guys, MCG here, finally bringing you another episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This is episode 96. We're here at Eventide Island. Uh, full disclosure, I'd already started this island at one point, and uh, I think I got uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth and wanted to start it or something, but I was in the middle of this and in between recording sessions, so I had to abandon that footage. Um, so this is my second run at Eventide. Um, hopefully it goes okay, I was off to a good start on the first run, but uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. So, let's get over to the island here, trigger the event, I think. There we go. So, I've been away for a long while. It's been like almost, I want to say it's been almost three months since I recorded. And it's been two and a half since I've posted a video. There's a lot of reasons for it. Um, I was really sick for a couple months actually. I kept getting colds just over and over and over. Uh, and it turned out that I even had a sinus infection. And, uh, so I kind of had to make a decision and the decision was made that, you know, everything outside of work pretty well had to be put on the back burner. And so that's kind of what I did. Uh, so you can see I'm already off to a real good start here. Ah, oh, stop. Um, so yeah, it, it, it left me just without content, without really anything for a long while as far as the channel went and it sucked. Uh, I felt, you know, I had set set about this kind of goal for myself that I was going to start this channel to be in 2019 and I did and I felt like things were going really well, you know. Um, was I the best out there? No. Uh, was this going to be a career? Probably not. Um, but it was something I enjoyed doing. It got me doing something after work uh, where normally I would just, you know, sit on the couch and play video games or whatever. Well, I turned my playing in, playing video games into a, almost a little bit of a job slash hobby. Um, and it was working really well. Um, you know, I'd, uh, as I've talked about many times before, I always kind of like, it sounds like I'd done something really bad or like I should have people be sympathetic for me and that's not what I'm going for at all with this statement but um, you know my daughter would go to bed and then I'd record then but it would jeez I'm not off to a good start but it would suck because you know I'd have to worry about okay am I gonna wake her up am I gonna do this am I gonna do that and then of course my wife would be hanging out on the couch by herself not doing much um, watching a show or a stream or whatever on our iPad um, because I wouldn't want background noise for my recordings and she's always really cool about it which I always really appreciated but you know you feel bad about doing that too you're putting a person you're, you're almost putting a person out for really your own selfish wants and not even needs, just selfish wants, right? So all these things kind of compounded and I got really down on myself and um, you know, one thing I'm thankful for is I never really measured or never measured is not the right word. I never really concerned myself with the success how many people viewed the videos, uh, anything like that. Uh, lots of people, you know, they, I respect the hustle. Lots of people work their tails off to try and make YouTube a job. And while I'd love for that to be a thing, I just don't have the time with a five-year-old daughter um, and a wife and a full-time job. You know, geez Louise, I'm getting bopped out here. You know, if it was just me, uh, that would be one thing. 
but because you know, I have these people that rely on me and uh, you know I just it was easy to let this go okay you know I'm not feeling good you know take care of myself just just let it go it's just stuff like that right so I don't really want to eat these yet but I'm doing really bad here um, so that's what I did I let it go I wasn't feeling well and then you know on top of all this I watched a video by I think the youtubers name is Chad Tronic and I started learning about the whole COPPA thing and I wouldn't say it freaked me out freaked out wasn't isn't really the right terminology I would use for it but it bummed me out because <clears throat> I had found something I really enjoyed doing as like a hobby and all of a sudden now this thing that I just started really getting into was going to kind of be taken away from me because uh, people can't regulate self-regulate their kids like when they're using social media and YouTube and stuff and so then that kind of got me down and so you know like I was slated to actually record because I've been better for I don't know a month or so now so and sorry this video is kind of boring I'm just gathering up supplies so I can make a good run at this um, but yeah I had set aside time I was actually off from work uh, I was gonna put in basically a whole day recording and I watched a Chadtronic video and kind of saw everything that came with that and I just ended up deciding that you know what it wasn't worth it I wasn't gonna put my family at risk for my hobby um, now since I don't know there have been comments by prominent YouTubers that it's not going to be as bad as it sounds. Um, there have been comments that it's absolutely as bad as it sounds, maybe even worse. Um, there's all kinds of different opinions on the whole thing. And I finally just decided to say, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to do this. Um, and if it looks like something really bad is going to come of this, I'm just going to shut it down. I'll find a different way to do things. I will stream I'll you know whatever it may be you know I'll stream on Twitch or I'll stream on Mixer or I'll post my videos to freaking YouPorn or something like that whatever I gotta do um, to keep kinda enjoying myself and this hobby that I've started that is a lot of fun um, you know some people maybe don't see it that way but I sure do so I kind of just want to keep it going I want to see where it goes um, you know if I can keep posting on YouTube without any repercussions or getting fined forty five thousand dollars or whatever stupid number it is I'm absolutely going to keep doing this on YouTube um, but if it comes down to it and I gotta make a move for the you I'm gonna die for the well-being of me and my family and stuff well that's what I'll do, um, you know. And no one's, no one's ever gonna tell anybody not to do that, right? Like, that's the cool thing. It's pretty easy to just say, well, if it's uh, gonna cost you all that money, don't do it. And so, 100%, no one's gonna be able to take that agency away from me and say, well, no, you have to do it. Like, it, it is 100% my decision. So, we'll see where it goes. Um, it is December 24th as I record. Um, big changes are coming as of January 1st, so they say. I know lots of people have put in their comments to COPPA or whatever the regulating body is for it. Sorry, I'm not totally familiar with all the names and stuff. I watched one video and got the gist out of it and moved on with my day, basically. Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, we'll see where it goes see what happens hopefully I can keep doing this and keep growing this thing uh, you know I think 
I, I, I can't even remember. I think I have 56 subscribers or 55 or something like that. I got over 50. Like, that's pretty cool. I thought, yeah, lots of people look at that and be like, oh, well, that's nothing. Well, you know what? To me, it's a pretty big accomplishment. It's something I never thought when I bought my first capture device that I would ever get over 50 subscribers. You know, I got into the game, obviously, way later than every other YouTube personality out there, but, eh, whatever. That's fine by me. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying my... Oh, hey. Oh, really? He's a stubborn fellow. Um, I'm having fun. I'm enjoying myself, so that's what I'm going to keep doing. Uh, and like I said, if... If it looks like things are going to be bad, I'm just going to... I'll shut the channel down. And I'll... I don't know what I'll do, but I'll figure it out. Um... Yeah, family first and all that, so. <clears throat> but, you know, it's a big deal to people, and it's not right that just because your content is, like, Nintendo content, or your content is, like, Pokemon, or it's Mario, or whatever, that's kid-friendly, that all of a sudden you're automatically associated with having children's content like that's not right give me a break there's the some i don't even know where to go with this like whoever's looking at it when they're deciding who they're gonna find and who they're not like there's got to be some distinction of okay well this person you know clearly they're doing this but at the end of the day, you know, everyone can watch it. So, this, that, and the other thing. Like, it's... Ah, oh, crap. It's a whole big conversation, and I'm definitely not the guy to have it. Um, I like to think I'm smart, but I'm not that smart, <laughs> if I'm being honest. So, I needed those roasted bass. So, you know... We'll see where it goes. Um, hopefully it's n it's not all doom and gloom kind of as it's looked for however long. But yeah, we'll see where it goes. and yeah, We'll take things as they happen and go from there. So I guess that's about all I can really say on the topic outside of that. Um... So yeah, I hope everyone's been doing well. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. Um, I'm looking forward to continuing to try and build this thing. Shoot. I was worried about that. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll just see where it goes. We'll see where it goes. Okay, that'll take care of you. If I can get your spear. Nope. I'll do that. You don't have a weapon, so we'll do this. Smack him down. All right, now we're good. Uh, <clears throat> one thing I am gonna change. I'm gonna try. I, I don't think I'm like really bad for swearing on the channel, but at the same time, I know I do swear. I'm gonna try to limit that a little bit. Um, I personally don't have any problem with swearing. Uh, some people would say this is a lame statement, but it's kind of part of my personality and part of... It's like a Game Grumps thing, right? Like, one thing I really enjoy about Game Grumps is they used to be unfiltered, and <clears throat> that kind of brought about some of the comedy in what they were doing. I mean, obviously, there are more than swears and games and stuff like that, but, you know, let's face it. Especially Aaron Hansen, Eagle Raptor, a big part of his shtick was just being an angry, grumpy dude, right? Like, it's. So, I don't know. I'm gonna try and cut back on the swearing, if not cutting it out completely. And uh, I'll see how I do with that. And hopefully it sticks. Hopefully I don't forget, because I am a forgetful feller from time to time. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be fun. Um, some other things to talk about regarding the channel. Um, I'm gonna bench Mario Maker. Um, 
I have fun with the game. I enjoy making the content, so that's not the issue. The issue for me is that uh, I was kind of allowing it to take away from this series, um, and I I want to finish this series. I want to finish smat the Smash series I have going and move on to other projects. I've been playing Breath of the Wild on the channel, obviously off and on, um, since uh, January of this year. So I'm going to bench Mario Maker, put more time into Breath of the Wild and Smash, get through those, and uh, then we'll go from there. I know Haley really wants to play Luigi's Mansion 3 with me, and it happens to have a two-player co-op functionality through the story mode, and I'm into that. I always thought one of the coolest things about doing this channel was the possibility that I could record content with her. So I think I want that to be a future series. Um, and then there's other stuff too, like, um, you know, yeah, just, I want to get into other games. I want to play some Super Nintendo games, actually, to be perfectly honest. I am thinking, I apologize, I love me some Super Nintendo games, like... Some of my favorite gaming memories are on classic consoles, and... I hope he got the sword. Oh, he did. And I'm enjoying making the Switch content, do not get me wrong, but... I want to put some time into some other games, so... That's kind of that motivation. Uh, let's get through Breath of the Wild and onto some different stuff, right? So, uh, hopefully, you know, you guys will understand and be cool with it. Because um, it's, it's just straight up what's happening. So, um, some other things. I got an Xbox One S. <laughs> I got it for. Actually, I won it as a door prize at my uh, company Christmas party. Um, so, you know, there will probably be some Xbox games in the future, which is cool. Uh, I'm into that. Uh, the more variety we can get, the better, obviously. Uh, I am a big Nintendo fan, so don't think I'm going to sell my role on N Nintendo games. Nintendo games are kind of focus of the channel, but if there's an Xbox game I'm into, you know, I'm prob I'll probably bring it out and... We'll, uh, we'll play it on the channel here. Have some fun with it, so. Um, what else? I know we had talked about doing Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee Pokemon. Um, you didn't see me, Bokoblin. Uh, so that's a thing that's happening. Well, I don't know if it's happening, but we talked about it. So, there's just lots of stuff like that. Uh... There's, I don't know if there's going to be really changes to the channel or anything like that, but, you know, just stuff to keep your eyes peeled for, I guess. I'm going to take care of those guys. Let's get them first, yeah. Ah, oh, I was hoping to get his weapon. Ooh, bad idea. Okay. It's getting a little hairy here. I want to take advantage of their cooking pot. <clears throat> Please don't be a thunderstorm. Uh, here you go, boys. Welcome, Lou. Got one. Key up. No, give me the food. Alright. Uh, what else can we touch on? I mean, ah, there's so much, right? Like, I've been gone for so long. I feel like I haven't talked to anybody. Oh, good thing I have Mifa's Grace. That wasn't very well planned out or thought out. Um, oh my god, no. This is not good. Alright. So, I will say this. My first run definitely went a lot better than this has gone so far. Um, I mean, what do you do? But still, sure would be nice if this could go a lot smoother. Oh well. Uh, the nice thing is, I guess, is I didn't complete the first run, so... I knew as soon as it started raining it was going to be a thunderstorm too. It always is. What a burn! 
I'm trying to decide if I make Even Tide Island one long video or like two or three separate videos. I think I might make it longer than usual, but uh, a couple of separate videos, but I'm not 100% sure here. Right now I just want to clean things up. Get rid of these bokoblins. Kia! Gotti. Be gone. Thought. That torch will come in handy. Alright. Oh, we got lots of weapons, so that's good. They're all easily breakable weapons, but hopefully my Mifa's Grace rechar recharges quickly enough that I can take advantage again of it if I need to, because that, uh, there's going to be one ball that's going to be real hard to kind of get, so, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, anyways, I think I was saying I was going to make this one, I was going to make it, like, two longer than usual videos, but not, like, one super long video, is that what I was saying? I think that's what I was saying. Okay, so a ball can go there, and then I think a ball goes up there, and then there's one that goes way over there. So we'll deal with that one after. I already cleared out those bokoblins. So there's a ball sitting there. Um, and, uh, I'm going to leave that guy for now. Do I have Rivali's Gale? Sick. Let's get ourselves over here. Hopefully this storm will bugger off soon. Because it's a real pain. Um, as for this series, you know, I think, like, we're going to do even tide. Oh, yeah. Damn it. We're going to do even tide. Ah. We are going to do even tide island for sure. And we're going to do... I think the last low may ruin and then we'll kind of from there I guess see where we take things next but that's kind of at least the short-term outlook don't you don't get a say sir however if you dropped arrows I'm coming for him ah no only if you dropped arrows don't just fall just because Jeez Louise Ooh, boy. Ooh, I have this I could sneak around under. Doesn't this take you back to Wind Waker days? Let's see if we can... If I can sneak up on that other... Bow-wielding Bacalman. Oh, thank goodness the storm is subsiding. If I can sneak up on him, I have a chance to take him out. And then get arrows and that I would be okay. I'm kind of wasting all those arrows on those stupid chews. Oh well. That wasn't very smart. Maybe they'll go to sleep and I can sneak strike them. <laughs> hmm. Go to sleep. Oh no. Oh no. No. Why? Sick. I have to get this right now. I was just going to leave this, but. I can ignore everything else if I get this. Because, frankly, I haven't really destroyed anything else to warrant getting the spheres from the other dudes. No, stay away from me, cow. No! Stop it! Oh man, am I going to be able to get it up there in time? Damn ass, Blood Moon. There we go, I already dropped a swear. Erg. Darn Blood Moon. Okay, get up the hill. Ignore the chew. Just get up the hill. We gotta throw this in the thingamajig. The receptacle. Come on, it's not there yet. 
don't. Do not start. Because unless I want to cook, I can ignore this whole area. Just put you down. Okay, good. That's one. Yep, I'm going to ignore this whole area. Well, I'll come back and take them out because they're easy, but other than that... Ah, oh, man. Are you kidding me? What a joke. Oh, well. Let's mess with this guy before they come back. Boom. Oh, that even hurt him. Hey. Stupid blood moon. Man, I tell you, even Tide Island is quite the challenge. Uh, it's kind of what makes it one of the cooler areas in the game, in my opinion. Oh. Do I still have his weapon? Like, he didn't respawn a weapon? Well, this isn't good. Oh, yeah. Be gone. that dude drop anything? No? Okay. Sometimes you gotta just be able to roll with the punches in this. Whoa! I'm sorry, that was rude. Who the heck was that? Steal all their stuff. Oh look, arrows. Take care of a couple more, yeah, and then we'll bail. That's another one. Get away from me. Oop. You gotta play it cool here. Just be prepared to run at all times. Also, be gone. Thoughts? You, we gotta take care of you for sure. Be gone. I guess I can use a metal weapon again. Did you drop arrows? Yeah, you did too, didn't you? Yep. I needed those. It was worth it. Man, yeah, this is... This place is such a challenge. <laughs> That's why it's one of the cooler places in the game, in my opinion. Like, I remember discovering this for the first time, just being like, whoa, this is wild. Like, they take everything away from you. Well, we've got a lot of good items that can help if I can, ah, get the chance to cook. Climb down gently. Yep, there we go. But I gotta take these guys out up here if I'm gonna get that opportunity. Oh, I thought I could hurl that at the Hinox. That would have been cool. Well, I think we're running up on the end of the video here. I'm going to try and clear this area out and get the ball in the hole. And then we'll call it. In the next video, we'll be taking care of the Hinox and getting our reward. They have no one protecting them. This is a perfect opportunity. this. No one's keeping watch. As long as I'm not too slow. Easy does it now. Be gone. Okay, that took care of him. Good. Ooh, that was worth it for the shield. Let's get that shield out. Uh, let's also do this. 
Come and get me. I'll take care of him for a minute. I can get a shield out properly. There we go. As long as it doesn't storm again, I think I'll be okay. Okay, where'd he go? There he is. There we go. Oh, we did it without totally annihilating ourselves. That's I, I'm gonna call that a victory. That's whew. Even after running into the trouble with the blood moon. You know, we still made it. Uh Okay, well like I said, I'm gonna get this last orb into the slot here and then we'll call the video. So we have to do like a soul. Put you down. Then I'm. You can do a couple things here, but I'm gonna do this. Um, lots of people would do stasis. I'm gonna hold two of those. Drop them right in the middle here. If they can lift it up for just long enough, I will just drop it and get out of there. Perfect. Good enough for me. I'm not concerned with it. Pass that. Alright. We got one more orb to get and it's the hardest one of all. Uh, in the next video, buckle up. Because we're fighting a Hinox with what we got. Which isn't much. Um, except I am going to make that broadsword part of it. Uh, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video and my random rantings about the channel and where things are going uh hit that like button please leave a comment down below say anything tell me you hate me i don't care uh, but leave a comment down below the more interaction that there is with this channel um the more likely we are to get viewed so uh and of course subscribe to the channel if you really enjoyed the content so you can stay up to date with all things mcg guys i'm glad to be back until the next one i'll see you all later Yeah. Bye.